Explained by the Billy Meyer contacts. Mysteries, myths, legends, conspiracy theories, historical inaccuracies, and more. Compiled by David Chance, revised October 18, 2023. Quetzalcoatl, see also extraterrestrials, Giza intelligences, the Bafath, see also Mayan civilization. Contact Report 055. The question was asked, who was Quetzalcoatl? And is Quetzal identical to him? I can answer the second question by no, nor do any of Quetzal's forefathers belong to Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl had been, in Earth terms, a very high officer or a high supervisor of an extraterrestrial group, which was active in the region you today call Egypt. But he was very knowledgeable and wise, and thus was often assigned special missions, of which one brought him to South America, where he became venerated as a god by the Aztecs. Since he owned a small ship, this impression of the Aztec people was strengthened, but this was not his intention. When he first met together with another commissioner, a certain Huitzilopochtli, he changed his conduct. Huitzilopochtli was one of the leading Giza intelligences, and he exercised a bloody sacrifice-based rulership over the Aztecs. He was insatiable in this respect, and demanded human blood as sacrifice, while Quetzalcoatl was against such. Thus an evil enmity rose between them, and each of them sought to gain leadership over the peoples. By wicked deceit and deceptive machinations, Huitzilopochtl succeeded in expelling Quetzalcoatl, in consequence of which he fled and returned to Egypt. Contact Report 826 I was digging around in the past with your father, for example in Teotihuacan, where human sacrifices were common. There they mainly massacred and beheaded captured foreign human beings but also local people. First, they had to work hard, often in tunnel construction, etc. Then their heads were chopped off or they were buried alive. All this took place in honor of the feathered serpent, that is to say the serpent god Quetzalcoatl, who was the creator god of the wind, the sky, and the earth. And he was also the ocean, and the largest pyramid ever seen in the world was built in his honor. 